The War of the Second Coalition was the second war on revolutionary France by the European monarchies, led by Britain, Austria and Russia, and including the Ottoman Empire, Portugal, Naples, various German monarchies and Sweden. Their goal was to contain the expansion of the French Republic and to restore the monarchy in France. They failed to overthrow the revolutionary regime and French territorial gains since 1793 were confirmed. In the Treaty of Luneville in 1801, France held all of its previous gains and obtained new lands in Tuscany, Italy, while Austria was granted Venetia and the Dalmatian coast. Britain and France signed the Treaty of Amiens in March 1802, bringing an interval of peace in Europe that lasted for 14 months. By May 1803 Britain and France were again at war and in 1805 Britain assembled the Third Coalition to resume the war against France. Background On 20 April 1792, the French Legislative Assembly declared war on Austria. In the War of the First Coalition 1792 France fought against most of the states with which it shared a border, as well as Great Britain, Portugal and the Ottoman Empire. Although the coalition forces achieved several victories at the outset of the war, they were ultimately repulsed from French territory and then lost significant territories to the French, who began to set up client republics in their occupied territories. The efforts of Napoleon Bonaparte in the northern Italian campaigns of the French Revolutionary Wars pushed Austrian forces back and resulted in the negotiation of the Peace of Lieben the 17th of April 1797 and the subsequent Treaty of Campo Formio October 1797 in the summer of 1798 Bonaparte led an expedition to Egypt where his army was trapped and which after he returned to France surrendered Meanwhile, during his absence from Europe, the outbreak of violence in Switzerland drew French support against the old Swiss Confederation. When revolutionaries overthrew the cantonal government in Bern, the French Army of the Alps invaded, ostensibly to support the Swiss Republicans. In northern Italy, Russian General Alexander Suvorov won a string of victories, driving the French under Moreau out of the Po Valley, forcing them back on the French Alps and the coast around Genoa. However, the Russian armies in the Helvetic Republic were defeated by French commander André Masséna, and Suvorov eventually withdrew. Ultimately the Russians left the coalition when Great Britain insisted on the right to search all vessels it stopped at sea. In Germany, Archduke Charles of Austria drove the French under Jean-Baptiste Jordan back across the Rhine and won several victories in Switzerland. Jordan was replaced by Masséna, who then combined the armies of the Danube and Helvetia. Peace interrupted From October 1797 until March 1799, the signatories of the Treaty of Campo Formio avoided armed conflict. Despite their agreement at Campo Formio, two primary combatants, France and Austria, remained suspicious of each other and several diplomatic incidents undermined the agreement. The French demanded additional territory not mentioned in the treaty. The Habsburgs were reluctant to hand over designated territories, much less additional ones. The Congress at Rastatt proved inept at orchestrating the transfer of territories to compensate the German princes for their losses. Ferdinand of Naples refused to pay tribute to France, followed by the Neapolitan Rebellion and the subsequent establishment of the Parthenopean Republic. Republicans in the Swiss cantons, supported by the French army, overthrew the central government in Bern and established the Helvetic Republic. Other factors contributed to the rising tensions. On his way to Egypt, Napoleon had stopped at the heavily fortified port city of Valletta, the capital city of Malta. Grand Master Ferdinand von Hompesch zu Bolheim, who ruled the island, would only allow two ships at a time into the harbour, in accordance with the island's neutrality. Bonaparte immediately ordered the bombardment of Valletta and on of June, General Louis Baraguay de Hilliers directed a landing of several thousand French troops at strategic locations around the island. The French knights of the order deserted, and the remaining knights failed to mount a successful resistance. Bonaparte forcibly removed the other knights from their possessions, angering Paul, Tsar of Russia, who was the honorary head of the order. The French Directory, furthermore, was convinced that the Austrians were conniving to start another war. Indeed, the weaker the French Republic seemed, the more seriously the Austrians, the Neapolitans, the Russians and the British actually discussed this possibility. Peace 
Topic: <laughs> Preliminaries to war. Military planners in Paris understood that the northern Rhine Valley, the southwestern German territories, and Switzerland were strategically important for the defense of the Republic. The Swiss passes commanded access to northern Italy, consequently, the army that held those passes could move troops to and from northern and southern theatres quickly. Toward this end, in early November 1798, Jordan arrived in Huntingen to take command of the French forces there, the so called Army of Observation, because its function was to observe the security of the French border on the Rhine. Once there, he assessed the quality and disposition of the forces and identified needed supplies and manpower. He found the army woefully inadequate for its assignment. The Army of the Danube, and its two flanking armies, the Army of Helvetia and the Army of Mainz, or Mainz, were equally short of manpower, supplies, ammunition, and training. Most resources were already directed to the army in northern Italy, an army of Britain, and the Egyptian expedition. Jordan documented assiduously these shortages, pointing out in lengthy correspondence to the Directory the consequences of an undermanned and undersupplied army. His petitions seemed to have little effect on the Directory, which sent neither significant additional manpower nor supplies. Jordan's orders were to take the army into Germany and secure strategic positions, particularly on the southwest roads through Stockach and Schaffhausen, at the westernmost border of Lake Constance. Similarly, as commander of the Army of Helvetia Switzerland, André Masséna would acquire strategic positions in Switzerland, in particular the St. Gothard Pass, the passes above Feldkirch, particularly Meinfeld Street, Lucienstieg, and hold the central plateau in and around Zurich and Winterthur. These positions would prevent the allies of the Second Coalition from moving troops back and forth between the northern Italian and German theatres, but would allow French access to these strategic passes. Ultimately, this positioning would allow the French to control all western roads leading to and from Vienna. Finally, the army of Mayence would sweep through the north, blocking further access to and from Vienna from any of the northern provinces, or from Britain. The war Great Britain and Austria aka still the 1526-1804 Habsburg monarchy organized a new coalition against the First Republic of France in 1798, including for the first time the 1721-1917 Russian Empire, although no action occurred until 1799, except against the future 1816-1861 Kingdom of the Two Sicilies but in 1798 still known as the 1282-1799 Kingdom of Naples. Topic seventeen ninety nine. In Europe, the Allies mounted several invasions, including campaigns in Italy and Switzerland, and an Anglo-Russian invasion of the Netherlands. Russian General Alexander Suvorov inflicted a series of defeats on the French in Italy, driving them back to the Alps. However, the Allies were less successful in the Netherlands, where the British retreated after a defeat at Castricum, and in Switzerland, where after initial victories a Russian army was completely routed at the Second Battle of Zurich. These reverses, as well as British insistence on searching shipping in the Baltic Sea led to Russia withdrawing from the coalition. Napoleon himself invaded Syria from Egypt, but after a failed siege of Acre he retreated to Egypt, repelling a British-Turkish invasion. Alerted to the political and military crisis in France, he returned, leaving his army behind, and used his popularity and army support to mount a coup that made him first consul, the head of the French government. Topic 1800. Napoleon sent Moreau to campaign in Germany, and went himself to raise a new army at Dijon and march through Switzerland to attack the Austrian armies in Italy from behind. Narrowly avoiding defeat, he defeated the Austrians at the Battle of Marengo and reoccupied northern Italy. Moreau meanwhile invaded Bavaria and won a great battle against Austria at Hohenlinden. Moreau continued toward Vienna and the Austrians sued for peace. Topic. 1801 Prior to the Acts of Union of July – August 1800, Ireland was a separate kingdom, with its own parliament, held in a personal union with Great Britain under the Crown. In response to the 1798 United Irishmen Revolt, it became part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, effective January 1 1800. 
The Austrians negotiated the Treaty of Lunéval, basically accepting the terms of the previous Treaty of Campo Formio. In Egypt, the Ottomans and British invaded and finally compelled the French to surrender after the fall of Cairo and Alexandria. Britain continued the war at sea. A coalition of non combatants, including Prussia, Russia, Denmark, and Sweden, joined to protect neutral shipping from Britain's blockade, resulting in Nelson's surprise attack on the Danish fleet in harbour at the Battle of Copenhagen. France and Spain invaded Portugal in the War of Oranges, forcing Portugal to sign the Treaty of Badajoz. 1801. In December 1801, France dispatched the Saint Domingue expedition to recapture the island, which had been independent since the 1791 Haitian Revolution. This included over 30,000 troops, many experienced and elite veterans, but ended in catastrophic failure. By the end of 1802, an estimated 15,000 to 22,000 had died of disease and yellow fever, among them Napoleon's brother in law, General Charles Leclerc. Aftermath In 1802, Britain and France signed the Treaty of Amiens, ending the war. Thus began the longest period of peace during the period 1792–1815. The treaty is generally considered to be the most appropriate point to mark the transition between the French Revolutionary Wars and the Napoleonic Wars, although Napoleon was not crowned emperor until 1804. Notes <laughs> <laughs>